Addressing differential attainment is important to the Scotland Deanery because we want to attract and retain the best doctors that we can, which means delivering training that is targeted to all and delivers what all trainees require. We need to be fair in all our dealings with our trainees and learners. Therefore, uh, we, we need to look at the differential attainment data to understand who may be at risk and what we can do to offset some of these risks. In Scotland, we've collaborated with uh, the GMC, our medical schools and our health boards. We have an organisation called the Task Force to Improve the Quality of Medical Education, which is a strategic group that's really enabled a lot of conversations. We're also very much trying to engage with trainees and trainers on the ground to understand their experiences and how that can inform our action plan. When we designed our action plan around differential attainment in Scotland, what we did was look around for a range of information and we referred to the uh, research that was undertaken, Fair Training Pathways, that was commissioned by the General Medical Council, which gave us a lot of pointers to the kind of things that might be impacting trainees and the interventions that could help. So we gathered together a range of options and then we structured them under the five themes from promoting excellence. An example from our action plan is unconscious bias training. Uh, we've already put through a pilot group uh, of senior medical educators through unconscious bias training which was received very well. So we're trying to set up a scheme at the moment that would allow a pilot of reverse mentoring for BME trainees to mentor senior um, educational leaders within our organisation. We plan to put in place an evaluations framework. We're working with the Scottish Medical Education Research Consortium to, to develop a framework that will allow us to evaluate uh, the interventions that we put in place over a period of time. The main advice I would give to others who are about to begin their work on differential attainment is to begin conversations early and to be brave around them because actually the messages will be positively received. And work with all of those concerned including trainees, trainers, and, and others uh, to, to make sure that you've, you've got as rich a debate as possible. This is not a Scotland issue, it's not a London issue, this is a, you know, it's evidence across the whole of the UK which gives a real sense of the fact that we can all work on this together, we can share ideas and different interventions and together we should be able to come up with a package for the United Kingdom that will help us address this. <laughs>